Hey, hey, praise the Lord, everyone. <laughs> hey, guys, I just, I wanted to do this video today. I know we were supposed to have church today, but you guys, uh, you know, uh, because of the situation, <clears throat> guys, I want to tell you, uh, thank you for your prayers um, and your support. Um, we did get in touch with my, my, my dad. Um, he's doing, he, he, he's not, he's doing okay. There's, there's no you know, life issues or anything like that, but he is really taking a, it's, he is really taking a, a toll on him. You know, you could, you didn't see him without McFall. You didn't see McFall without him. They was really close, you know, and so uh, he, he has taken it. I haven't seen him like this since mom passed. So guys, y'all just keep us in your prayers where we can just keep him together, you know, um, and just like Dan, he going to get through this too. Um, they messed us all up. You know, Brother McFall was really close to the whole family, you know. So we we still dealing with it ourselves. So just continue to pray for us. We thank you so much for your prayers and your support. All right. We won't, of course, we didn't have church this Sunday. We won't have church next Sunday, but we will have church the following Sunday. That is the third Sunday. Um, I don't have that date, guys. I'm sorry, but it's the third Sunday of uh, September. Okay. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend. All right. Stay safe. All right. I do want to talk to you today, just for a few minutes. You know, um, man, I didn't, I didn't go to sleep until the sun came up today. Matter of fact, I mean, by the time I closed my eyes. You know, and I, I didn't really get, I don't really call it sleeping, but by the time I closed my eyes, you know, I could see every house in my neighborhood because that's how, it, you know, some of y'all was probably getting up and I was laying down for a few, but I had been up just talking to God about everything, you know, and just, you know, I, I had an argument with God. Let's just put it like that. I did. I really did. I just, I just had an argument with God with everything that was going on. And uh, the situation and, you know, just pandemic, just everything. And God dropped something heavy, heavy, heavy in my spirit. You know, and I had to chew on it all night. He dropped something heavy in my spirit. And so I want to talk to you today. And if it sounds like I'm upset at you, angry, and not, I'm not. I'm just, I got to give it to you guys the way God dropped it in my spirit. And I'm trying to keep this at 20 minutes. Drop this in my spirit. You know. Because he took me back to Isaiah 43, 19, when he said, and y'all been hearing me talk about this for a long time. I am doing a new thing, saith the Lord. Do you not see it? Do you not see what's going on? I, I'm doing a new thing, saith the Lord. Uh, do you not see it? Isaiah 43, 19. Uh, here you go. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I'll even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He said, I will even make, I will even make road in the wilderness and springs of water in the desert. And God just started dealing with me on, on it because I was asking God, I said, God, what's going on? We, you know, you got, we, our elders are passing away and we got this, we got, I don't understand God, why are you taking the good elders from us? And, you know, and people having to lose loved ones and things like that in this season, you know, and God just dealt with me on it. He said, son, here we go. Now I'm trying, I'm going to try to do this the way he gave it to me. He said, son, they was the foundation. They were the foundation of what I'm doing. And and, and, and it took me back to, it's like building a house, guys. So building a house, building a building, whatever you're building. The most important thing is the foundation, right? The most important thing is the foundation. Without the foundation, it doesn't matter what else you build. If your foundation is weak, the whole thing is going to fall. And that's what he was telling me. He said, they were the foundation of everything that I, I that I'm building, you know, we had to say Martin Luther King was the foundation for where uh, 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 we are, where we are now. Even though we still got some things we got to build, but nevertheless, he was the foundation of it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, 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 my mom was the foundation of 
breath of God. You know, and where God was, but she helped mold the foundation. That's why, even though we went through a whole lot of stuff, we're still reaching love and servant. You get what I'm saying? That was the foundational thing. That this is where God rebuked me as a pastor, and He sent a rebuke for the church as a whole. And so I have to give it to you guys the way He gave it to me. He said, What are you going to build on the foundation that they left? What are you going to build on the foundation? That they left. They were the foundation. What are you going to build? What are you going to do? With it. He said. Or are you going to. He said because what's going on right now. Come on. I'm going to just talk about the church. What's going on right now. And you, we got people in the church right now. Feel like they don't need church. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. I don't need to go here. I don't need to go there. I don't need to do none of this stuff. And he said. What are you going to build with the foundation that they left? You know, because now we have entered into a place in our lives where people really feel that they don't need God. He said, uh, he, he said that people really feel that they don't need God. He said in the word of God, the rich man said that. The rich man said that I don't need God. And the Bible said, your soul will be acquired of you this day. We have hit a spot in our lives. I know, I know what I'm talking about. Well, you know, we, we, we were sending the videos out. People, a few people watch the videos, a lot of people don't. You know, you get what I'm saying? Because we have focused our mind on other stuff that don't even matter no more. We have taken God out of the whole situation now. Because we think that we don't need God now. We have got to the point in our lives where God really, truly, truly don't matter. And see, you got to understand something here. You got to understand something, guys. When we when we get to that point in our lives, all hell is going to break out in our life. Period. All it, from the word of God until uh, 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 until that. It, it's going to break out. Why? Because we must have God. The reason why a lot of our elders, yet yeah, God has called them home, but the reason why they was able to live a good life when uh, towards the end of their life is because they stood on the foundation of the word of God. They built on the word of God. What are we going to build? What are we going to do? Are we going to get into this notion that we don't need God? We don't need to do what's in this principles. I don't need to give. I don't need to fast. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that. Because we got so many people. Well, listen to me. We have so many people who are ruining their lives off of face, Facebook prosperity. Because of what people are showing you on Facebook that they lying about. Because of what they, they showing you a picture of a house that don't belong to them. And they stand out in the front yard. And you thinking, oh, I'm not there yet. That, that ain't even their house. You know, you get what I'm saying? So we have bought into this, this, this reality stuff that we are trying to paint our lives off from people who whole life is fake. Come on now, y'all stay with me. I'm going somewhere. You get what I'm saying? So what are we going to build with the foundation that God has left on us? What are we going to build? Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit saith the Lord. Because God, they, God let them lay the foundation. It is our job now to build the rooms, to build the living room, to build the kitchen, to build this, to build that, off of the foundation that was left. But if we are acting like we don't need God, if we're acting like I don't have to obey the principles of God, I don't have to do what God say do, I can go do my own thing. And then we're wondering why everything around us is burning. And we're trying to blame it on this. We're trying to blame it on that. We try No, it's just the fact that we have gotten off of the principles of the foundation of God. We have to get back to the place that where we know where God has placed us. Come on now. Come on now. God expects us to live a life that is pleasing to him, even if we're not at Breath of God Church on Sundays right now. Yeah, then he took me, come on. He did it, God, one of the things, the Holy Ghost will bring everything back to your remembrance. I don't have no notes. God just dropping it, bringing it back to me. One of the things is, he told Peter in John 21 and 15, he told Peter, he said, Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, God, I love you. He asked Peter three times. And then so, listen to me. It is so ironic that God asked Peter three times, do you love me? And, P and he told Peter, uh, uh, before, he told Peter, I th you're going to deny me three times. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to leave that alone. 
But he told Peter, three, he asked Peter, do you love me? Yeah, I love you, Lord, to feed my sheep. Do you love me, Peter? Yeah, I love you, to feed my sheep. In other words, what he was telling Peter, if you love me, then do what I have called you to do. Then obey my word. If you love me, then obey my word. You get what I'm saying? So you got to understand something here. And it came back to my, it came back to me. If I love God, then I, if, if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for God, then I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do for everybody else. If I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for God, then I'm, if, when I take care of God, I take care of his church. Stop playing with me. When I take care of God, then I take care of his people. When I take care of God, then I take care of the things of God. See, sometimes, see, we have gotten off and we have put the church, the pastor and everything. I don't want to do that. I ain't giving it to no church. You ain't giving to no church. You giving to God. I don't want to support no pastor. You ain't supporting no pastor. You're supporting God. See, when you start taking God out of it, then that's when the devil can get into it and he can start turning your your, your emotions and your feelings contradicting to what the word of God says. But if you understand that I am doing this for God, if I'm doing this for God, then guess what, guys? Then guess what? Then all of this stuff will, uh, 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 you won't have no problem with it. Your flesh might say, ah, but your spirit is going to say, I'm doing this for God, so therefore I am going to do it. You know, so we have to ask ourselves what what are we what are, what 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 are we going to build on the foundation that has been left? What are we what are we going to build? What are we going to do? Huh? Because God has called us to some great things. There are some doors that have been opened for Breath of God Church. You know, that's those are foundation doors. And my flesh is like, God, I don't know if I really. And God, it, but God said, hey, hey, if that's where I'm taking you, I'm not asking for your strength. I will give you supernatural strength to get through it. Same thing with you guys. This is not a time for us to stop and stop doing what God has called us to do. Go on now. This is a time for us to stay faithful. This is a time for us to keep doing what God calls us to do. This is a time for us to build on the foundation that these elders left for us to build on. It's not a time for us to throw it in the trash and throw it away and to get rid of it and say, oh, this. No, this is a time for us to grab hold and to build what they love. Come on, man. You know, it's just like it's just like voting. We get ready to vote. It's just like voting. You know? You you can't say, well, I'm not going to vote. People died for you to vote, and you just going to spit on them like that by not voting? Or I'm just going to write somebody else's name in the ballot. You might as well not vote. Come on now. People gave their life to leave a foundation for us. Some of them people who, passed, who died didn't even vote. They didn't see it come to pass. Come on now, y'all stay with me. What are we going to do, brother God, with the foundation that is left? There was a foundation built for us. What are we going to do? If God, li listen to me. Listen to me. How can I, how can I, how can I say this? Can I, I, I don't know how to say it politically, so I'm going to just say it the best way I know how. A lot of us need to stop the foolishness. Stop the foolishness. You're killing your own self. Stop the foolishness, man. You're destroying your lives because you just refuse to do it God's way. Stop the foolishness. It's time out for preachers and churches to be politically correct. So, yeah, I hear you, God. Stop the nonsense, man. Stop thinking that you can do it. You can't do it. That's why you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper in the hole. You know you need God's power. You know you need God to come through there and do it. And the and the issue is you know better, man. You know what the word say. You know what the word of God say about giving, about praying, about fasting, about loving each other, about hatred and forgive. You know what the word of God say. So why are you acting like you don't know and you keep digging yourself deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the hole? No. You are going to have to stand on the same principles that our elders stood on and you will have to stand on the same Bible, the good book, that the ones before us. You are going to have to stand on them same principles. How deep are you going to, how deep will you put yourself in the hole because you just refuse to obey? 
How deep? How deep? You know, one of the things, you know, breath of God, man, God is, we, we, through it all, God has been good. And you guys heard me talk about some of this uh, last Sunday. You know, it seemed like the, where the direction that God has taken us, it seemed like every door that I wanted closed, God is kicking open. He is leaving me no choice but to say, yeah. Yeah, he, see, everybody, everybody got a faith stance. Everybody got a faith fight. Everybody, some people faith fight is bigger than all others. But at the end of the day, it's still a faith fight. And the faith fight that I'm, that God's trying to put me in, that I'm not gonna have no choice but to get in because I have learned to, not I have learned to, is it's better to obey than to sacrifice. So I have learned to just be obedient to God. But every door He is kicking down to the point that I'm not gonna have a choice but to go in and, and, and grab that 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 uh, grab that big old place and build what God said build. My flesh may not want to do it, but I have learned that my spirit will override my flesh if I love God. And that's the way you got to be. Because right now, your flesh don't want to do this. Your flesh don't want to give. Your flesh don't want to pray. Come on now. Your flesh don't want to do this. Your flesh don't want to do that. But if you love him, if you love God, then your spirit should kick in and make your flesh do what it does not want to do. Prime example. Prime example. And I know I'm coming off hard today, but I got I got to give it to you. Prime example. You know, my wife, uh, she put this big old mirror, this full flip mirror, you know, in the house, full full body mirror, you know. And the other day, I was walking past it with a biscuit, with a sausage biscuit in my mouth. And I walked past the mirror and I had to back up. And I just, I looked at it. I said, oh man, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta, oh Lord, I gotta go to the gym. Now, I didn't spit out my sausage biscuit, you know, cause hey, I had already, I already commenced to eating it. So I might as well, you know, keep eating it, not waste a dollar. But nevertheless, my flesh didn't want to do it. But my spirit said, if you're going to do what God has called you to do, son, you got to get back on it. So I had to go back to the gym. And that's where I'm heading as soon as I finish this up. You know. But we all got faith fights. Everybody got a faith fight. It's just different from each other. But nevertheless, we all have a faith fight. And God has called us back into this season to do great things for his, his city, for his kingdom. And that's where we are now, brother God. That's where we are. So I'm compelling you. You know, the Bible says, choose you this day of whom you're going to serve. You're going to serve somebody. Don't think you're going to be able to sit in the neutral zone. Well, you know, you know how people are. I'm not going to vote. You already voted. No vote is a vote for the other guy. You, There, there either is a yes or no. A left or a right. There ain't no middle. Okay? So you got to understand something, guys. You, 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 There is no middle. You, There is a void. So that's why Joshua said, choose you this day whom you going to serve. You're going to serve somebody. you either serving God or you either serving the devil. It, it doesn't matter. You can try to twist it. Come on, man. It is right. Either you're standing on this or you're standing on nothing. Choose you this day because either you serve in God or either you're going to serve the devil. But you're going to serve one or the other. You're going to serve one or the other. And it comes down to sacrifice, guys, and I'll be done. It comes down to sacrifice. It comes down to sacrifice. He dropped this in my spirit. And I had to, I wrote it down and I, I wrote it down because this is so powerful. He said, he said, son, he said, there's two types of sacrifices people do. One, people will sacrifice their present to rest in their future. 
people will sacrifice their present to rest in their future. That's where retirement comes from. That's why people will sacrifice this right here so when I get this age, I don't have to work. I can just get that retirement check and hang out with the grandkids and fish and hunt and do whatever I want to do. But he said, then there's the other side of that where people will rest in their present and sacrifice their future. That's what these people doing today. Yeah, 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 I'm going to get on it. That's what people doing today. Because they got to look good for everybody. You, they got to act like they got it going on now. Because nobody wants to wait to the future. I got to I gotta let y'all see that I'm, 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 look how big, you get know what I'm saying? So some people say, no, 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 I'm going to sacrifice my present to be able to rest in my future. Then you got the crew that comes and say, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a rest in my present not knowing that they're sacrificing the future. So when everybody else who did it right is chilling, having fun, you're mad because you're still having to work. Which one are you? Which one of us? What, what, what are we? Are we people who are willing to sacrifice our present to rest in our future? Or are we going to be like the ones who are sacrificing, their, sacrificing who are resting in their present and sacrificing this, their future. Some built their house, the Bible says it's like this, some built their house on the sand, some built their house on, on, on this and that, but then there were some who built their house on the rock. Where are you gonna build yours? Huh? Where are you gonna build yours? Huh? That's my question to you today. Where are you gonna build yours? Choose you to stay on whom you gonna serve. Our elders that went before us, they was the foundation, man. God has called us to build. Brother God, God has called us to build. He has called us to get back on it. Yeah, he has. But he's with us. He's with you. You know, he gave me hope. See, see, you don't understand, guys. I was, you know, this big, this big thing that you got dropped in our future right now that we are just getting our homework done on it before we make this decision and you know and this is all God before we make this decision and stuff like that you know th that gave me strength last night that was my thing to say okay I'm ready to go build I'm ready to go build I'm ready to go build because that's what it was all about, children of God. That's what it was all about. That's what it was all about. Which one are you going to do? I'm ready to go build. If he says yes, we're going to get it. It's a big, but there's a whole lot that we can do with it to bless other people. Are you with us? Are you with me? Are you with God? Where, 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 where you at? Because some of y'all need God to, you've been praying for God to bless you. God is saying, are you willing to sacrifice your future? Are you willing to sacrifice your present to rest in your future? Or are you the ones who wants to rest in your present and sacrifice your future? Which one are you? You guys know what to do. You guys know the word of God. You know what's right or wrong. You know what, how you're supposed to take care of God. Take care of him and see if he don't return the favor. All right, God bless you. I love you. God bless.